Well, we talked about the visit we were looking forward to. D.B. Sweeney, the actor, joins us up here in the booth. And uh, certainly a great thing you're a part of. Right away, we'd love to hear all about the Veteran Tickets Foundation. Yeah, you know, it's a, it's a group called uh, Vet Ticks. And what they do is, is get tickets from great organizations like the Diamondbacks, other MLB teams, all kinds of sports, NASCAR, uh, concerts. And they distribute these tickets for free to service people and their families and veterans. And it's just a great, tangible way to say thank you to the people who do so much for us. How'd you find them? How'd they find you? I was at a benefit here in Phoenix uh, last fall, and uh, and I met. It was for another organization, and I met them, and they, they knew I was interested in, in uh, you know helping the military, and so they approached me and asked me to sort of help them get the word out. So I thought that'd be a great thing to do. And on a day like today, it seems only appropriate to, to bring it to the forefront, doesn't it? Absolutely. You know, and uh, there's so many service people out here today, and uh, got a good ball That's game great. here. Looks like we can get a W here for the for the D-backs. So. Yeah. Spe speaking of baseball, you and Chip Hale have a have a past. Yeah, you know, Chip, I hadn't seen him in 15 years. And uh, in 1988, when I did uh, Eight Men Out, I spent the summer in Kenosha, Wisconsin, to learn to hit lefty. And uh, Chip and I were together riding the buses all through the Midwest wow. League. And, uh, that had to have been fun. It Did was, you like it? It was great. You know, I had such good memories. Uh, you know, there was uh, Jose Canseco's brother, Ozzy. Was, Ozzy he has an yeah. identical twin brother who couldn't, you know, hit a lick. And, <laughs> and, and this was back when... Uh, you know, Jose was on the verge of going 40-40 a few years later whenever he did that. And, and, you know, and this guy would come up, the carbon copy of Jose Canseco, yeah. and just strike out on three pitches every time. And, <laughs> and it just never got old. It was just great. Do you love the game? I mean, do you like baseball? I, I really do. I actually, uh, uh, a few years later, some of those guys from uh, Kenosha had graduated up to uh, the Portland Beavers, the Minnesota AAA team. And I went down and took BP one day, and the... Uh, the pitching coach for the Beavers is a manager of an Australian baseball league team in the winter, their summer, and he asked me to come over and play baseball. So I actually put my movie career on hold for four months and went and played baseball in Australia. So uh, Who was that coach? Uh, Paul Kirsch. Paul Kirsch. And uh, it was just uh, it was a great time, and you know I'm just I'm I'm a baseball junkie all the way. This is a great thing you're doing, this vet ticks, and uh, again, an opportunity, folks, if if he's talking about it to. to have a place as you can see vetticks.org and the families and, and those that are active in the military. Yeah, it's a great thing. You know, everybody, a lot of people put the yellow sticker on their car and they say, I support the troops. And here's a group of guys, a lot of former military, are actually putting their money where their mouth is. And, you know, I, I just would encourage anybody out there, you know, if you're a bartender and a guy comes in, he's military, buy him a beer. You know, if you're a what cop, a, let him go. What a great thought. You know, I mean, just these guys uh, give up a lot. Obviously, their freedom and their, uh, you know, their service is dangerous and everything. And they also make these financial sacrifices. I mean, they don't make any money at all. I mean, if, you know, you're a two-star general, you're doing okay, but, but everybody else is sort of scrapping it out on a very limited income. So And they don't ask for the praise, do they? No, they don't. And they don't and we they heap don't, it on them. It's well-deserved, but they don't ask for it. No, they just they appreciate the acknowledgement, but they're not out there for that. Actor D.B. Sweeney joining us up here talking about vet ticks and taking care as this baseball fan looks on to that baseball game on a, on a very – very worthwhile day. Now, now in our house, to be fair, yeah, you're the you're the hockey player. You're the you're the <laughs> ice skater. I mean, I I couldn't ha have you up here and, and without asking you about your your hockey prowess and your skating prowess from the movie Cutting Edge. That's in our home well, anyway. <laughs> you know what? That movie will not go away, and uh, I'm proud See? of it. I, I uh, you know I learned to skate to do that movie, and I do love hockey too. But I, I you know I just I skate well enough to pretend. <laughs> <laughs> can't really do that. I, I, I made a new movie, though, with uh, uh, Mark and my mutual buddy, Chris Chelios, and uh, I put him in. It's called Two Tickets to Paradise. Okay. And uh, he's he's in that movie with me, along with the girl from Cutting Edge, Moira Kelly, and that's that's out on Showtime now. It's on DVD. And I wrote and directed it and produced it with my own money, and uh, we right. actually uh, premiered it in uh, Germany, Italy, Iraq, and Kuwait before it ever came out here. So all my buddies in the military were like, we don't mind you know, waiting for, for, for most things, but we'd love to have something first for a change. So I brought it over That's there. That's great. What's next for you? You know, I'm working on a couple things, um, writing. You know, as I said, that was my first script that I wrote. And uh, so now people are coming to me and they're saying, why don't you generate some more things? So kind of in a writing mode, you know, where I'm just – I have, actually have a baseball food show that's with Major League Baseball Network right now. It's awesome. It's called uh, DB Sweeney's Can of Corn, and basically the I like idea that. is, I go, I got the, the idea out of the Midwest League when I, my experience is there. You know, before I started as an actor, I was a cook in 20 different restaurants, and so I love food and I love baseball, and everybody knows how to cook one thing. So you go into some of these minor league parks, and these guys are living on peanut butter and oatmeal, oh, yeah. and it's you know they're scrapping it out too, and so. 
everybody knows how to cook one thing. And, and there's so many characters around the game. And it just feels like, you know, going to the yard and talking about food, is, I think it's something that people really will enjoy. So hopefully we're going to have that going before the end of the year. Well, if you ever need uh, any any guests on there to help you eat the food, Darren, yes. Darren and yes. I will. Yes, we'd uh, be glad to. You got a secret dish you can make? You got something, you get one, one thing you can throw down on? You know what I make well, DB? Cereal. Do you go to that? Yes, very well. Get the, you got to get just, right. just the right amount of milk on, on, <laughs> on your post toasting. You can't teach it. Uh, you can't yeah. teach it. You're I, born I with agree. that. Yeah, we had a long, long road trip all over this country to Atlanta and to Miami and then to, to Oakland. We've enjoyed all kinds of good oh, eats, my friend. Oh, I, I don't know. It's a, if, especially with the hours that you guys do with the night games, I, I think I'd be 400 pounds, you know, going out and eating after the games. <laughs> We're right? getting there. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting there. Then we cut back. Then we get there. Then we cut back. You know how it is, all the different roles you play, you have to drop some, and then sure, you, sure. you don't want to add it, but you do. I love yeah. that when actors say, yeah, I put on 40 pounds for the movie. It's like, sure. no, that's you, baloney, just, you just didn't put down the fork <laughs> for six months. So, <laughs> you just need you to know. push away from the table once in a while. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Two and two, the count. D.B. Sweeney joining us up here. This is a treat. Have you ever done any broadcasting? You know what? I haven't. No, but I'm a huge fan, obviously. I mean, I got the dish going. I'm watching three games at a time, and I listen to you guys all the time. All right, see, you see, guys. Let's see what you got here. Chad, go down the pitcher. Mark Reynolds, the hitter. And it's uh, two and two with two outs. Let's see what you got here. Well, two and two. He's uh, going to take a look over there at first, make sure he keeps him close. Of course, he's going to get a good start here. There's a the throw over. Nothing doing. Boo! Don't boo him. He's no, still no, no, learning no, how to broadcast. No, I'm no, that's Stephen Drew oh. over there at first base. That's, <laughs> yeah, I just, that's <laughs> unbelievable, man. That's the kind of host he is. Anyway, sorry, DB. I'll look for a little off-speed pitch away here. If he doesn't throw over again. Oh, of course, he's going with a fastball. That's how good I am. Well, that's all right. Hey, I... That's the I, great thing about radio. If we were on radio, <laughs> that was an off-speed pitch that's away. exactly right. You could have said, yep, I was right. It was off-speed. <laughs> Yeah, TB, you're, you're proven wrong a lot. Right, Where are you off to next, DB? I'm going back home, and, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to spending some time with my – I got a seven-year-old son. He's playing hockey and baseball. There it was. One pitch That's late, exactly right? Exactly right. All right. Yeah. I've been a day, day late and a dollar short for yeah. a long time. It's better than never showing up, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's all yours, by the way, the floor. Oh, okay. Anything Jeez. you'd like to talk about. Call well, the game. You Enjoy. know, actually, I wanted to give a shout out to uh, uh, Connor Jackson and his dad, John. John and I did a play together in LA oh, about okay. seven years ago, and I got to meet Connor when he was still at Berkeley. So uh, I know he's on the DL now, but I'm wishing yep. him a speedy return. Con Connor's not there been feeling is. very well. There he is. Trying to get him healthy. Battling pneumonia recently and even a, a case of valley fever. So it was trying to get his strength back. Scary. Yeah, I bet. Especially when you're so used to making your living with your, you know, all right, take us to the break, D.B. Can you do it? All right, can of corn right there. And uh, it. Bet Ticks, don't forget to visit don't forget it. Don't forget to VetTicks.org. D.B. Sweeney. D.B. Sweeney from Two Tickets to Paradise. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Thanks, D.B. We appreciate it, man. Thank you.